and Margaret. Going in style. In a world where the spotlight often shines brightly on youth, there are moments that defy the passage of time, captivating our hearts and reminding us that beauty knows no age. Join us on a journey to the set of Going in Style, where the legendary actress Anne Margaret, a name that once graced the silver screens of the 1960s, rekindles the allure of timeless elegance. As we step into this captivating story, we witness the intriguing interplay of generations, where wisdom meets youth and where vibrant discussions transcend the boundaries of age. Anne Margaret is a famous star who has danced with Elvis, kissed Jack Nicholson, and performed to sold-out crowds in Las Vegas. Here, we look back at the 2017 cover story, in which film critic Richard Krauss tries to figure out why she does what she does. Anne Margaret shook and shimmied her way into the public's mind. She did some of the fiercest dancing ever put on film at the beginning and end of her star-making part in Bye Bye Birdie in 1963. She was the kitten with a whip and a fresh-faced sex symbol who filled the gap that was between Marilyn Monroe and Rachel Welch. In the turbulent 1960s, America pushed her aside, but she came back as the B-movie queen and was nominated for an Oscar. Anne Margaret knows what it means to be strong. Elvis Presley called her rusty, but Alan Arkin, who worked with her in the movie Going in Style, says she is an absolute joy. But Anne Margaret's best friends describe the famous star in a different way. They call me Slugger, she says with a smile. One of my friends gave me the name because I've fallen down so many times. I've been hurt before, but I always get back up. A friend gave me this fighting gloves pit, which is made of gold. I should get that. I worked for it. In 1972, when she almost died after a fall that almost killed her, she had to show how strong she was. She fell from a high stage to the ground while performing at the Sahara Hotel in Lake Tahoe. She broke her left arm, cheekbone, and jawbone. There was a performance at dinner and another at midnight, she says. On that particular night, we had dinner, and it was almost midnight. I got there on a 22-foot high platform. They hadn't told us that if it leaned over more than six inches, it would flip and throw me. One man was holding one of the ropes in front, and the other was holding the other. I think one guy did it too quickly. I'm not sure. It wasn't the same at all. In front of me was a bar. I had no way out. I turned around when it did. I heard that from them. When I woke up, they had put my teeth together so I couldn't move. No mirror was shown to me. If they wouldn't show me a mirror, I knew something was very wrong. Even though people thought the all-around entertainer might never perform again, she fought, and with the help of neuro, plastic, and orthopedic doctors, she was back on stage in just 10 weeks. I just can't believe I'm still here, she says that I'm still alive after all the bad things that have happened. The star of Viva Las Vegas is a fighter with a voice like a kitten purring and a tough edge that she says she got from her parents, Gustav and Anna Olsen. I learned from my parents to never give up. Even though she had doubts, she kept going and went from being a newcomer to a full-fledged movie star. She held her own with Steve McQueen in the Cincinnati kit, stole some of Elvis Presley's thunder, and it seems a little bit of his heart, in Viva Las Vegas, and gave Dean Martin a run for his money in the spy comedy Murderer's Row. But as the 1960s went on, Anne Margaret became out of date. Once a shining example of what was cool and young in Hollywood, her glamorous look didn't fit with the age of Aquarius a few years later. When she played Bobby, it gave her access to a whole new world of jobs, adult roles with real substance. Her best roles, Oscar-nominated Nora Walker in the rock opera Tommy and the strong-willed widow Ariel Truax in Grumpy Old Men, came about when she had the courage to let go of the bebopping teen sexuality that had made her a star. This determination to keep working got her through both great and not-so-great movies. Alan Arkin says that her longevity is due to the fact that she is herself. There you have it. And Margaret's longevity secret is being herself. Go out there and be yourself, too. Anne Margaret was the first old-timey style icon a lot of people liked. Here are 10 things Anne Margaret taught us about fashion and beauty. All in all, some beauty tips. A great mane of hair. Sidney Gilleroff, the renowned stylist, bestowed upon Anne Margaret her signature red hair color despite her natural brown hair. Gilleroff also crafted Lucy Ball's iconic red hair and worked as a stylist for MGM stars during Hollywood's golden era. Even on her wedding day, Grace Kelly entrusted him with her hair. The beautiful waves and alluring volume of Anne Margaret's hair have always been a beloved feature of hers. 
The Perfect Cat Eyeliner From the very inception of wearing makeup, Anne Margaret and Ginger from Gilligan's Island served as makeup role models for many. Both were masters of the perfect winged liner. Today, there exist numerous methods to achieve the retro cat eye look. One can opt for cat eye stamps, felt tip liners, or a high pigment gel liner applied with a brush. Crop tops Anne Margaret, the accomplished actress, singer, and dancer, frequently adorned herself in snug trousers and crop tops to showcase her dancer's physique. In Bye Bye Birdie, she flaunted a playful pink frilly crop top, a look uniquely suited to her fun-loving persona. Her role in Viva Las Vegas also featured several stunning crop top ensembles. Beautiful shoes with boomerang-shaped heels and Margaret's style primarily embraced clean lines, solid colors, and conventional kitten heels. However, she infused her fashion with creativity through distinctive accessories, exemplified by her remarkable boomerang-shaped shoes. Hopefully, companies producing replicas will soon offer these shoes so that enthusiasts can enjoy them too. Strong eyebrows and Margaret's eyebrows played a significant role in her distinctive appearance. Neither too thick nor too thin, they featured exquisite and sharply defined arcs. Achieving a similar look necessitates the use of a small pointed brush and brow pomade, such as NYX Tame and Frame. False eyelashes and Margaret adeptly accentuated her eyes with her signature cat eyeliner, but it was her dark, thick lashes that truly completed the look. Seek out lashes that are dense but not excessively long to emulate her style. Patterns and colors that stand out for those inspired by Anne Margaret and Peg Bundy alike. Bold 60s florals, vibrant solid hues, and anything adorned with sparkle are the way to go if you want to capture their iconic fashion sensibilities. Anne Margaret's beachwear was daring. She confidently rocked form-fitting one pieces, but it was in bikinis that she truly excelled. Throughout her career, she showcased an array of stunning beachwear, from a fresh and flirty bikini in Viva Las Vegas to a bedazzled bikini in The Swinger. Leather boots that go up to the calf during the 1960s and Margaret, like many others, sported fashionable tall boots. Pair them with shorts and a blouse for a look reminiscent of the popular girls from that era. 10. Black tights and pants Anne Margaret often embraced the trend of black tights and stockings as pants. Drawing from her background in dance, she transformed dance studio staples into a fashion statement. To replicate this style in the modern world, opt for black leggings and cigarette pants and pair them with 1960s-inspired sweaters, heels, or boots. Anne Margaret put out her first rock and roll record just a few weeks before she turned 82. This is proof that she's not being deterred, even with her age. This is her anti-aging, and here are five things about her you should know. Anne Margaret, who is 81 and has won many awards, was a well-known actor for a long time. Some of her most famous parts were in Bye Bye Birdie, Made in Paris, Viva Las Vegas, and other films. Even though she used to be a movie star, she started a new adventure on April 14, 2023, when she released her first rock and roll record. Before the big project, here are five things you should know about the beautiful actress who used to date Elvis Presley. 1. Anne Margaret is an actress who has won awards. Anne Margaret has been in a lot of hit films over the years, and she has also won a lot of awards for her work. According to her IMDb page, The Beautiful Woman was nominated for her first Emmy Award in 1983. Since then, she has been nominated five more times, but she has only won one. Anne Margaret won an Emmy for her work on Law & Order, Special Victims Unit. She got the award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series. The 81-year-old actress has also been nominated for 10 Golden Globe Awards and won five of them. Her most recent win was in 1985 for her work on A Streetcar Named Desire, 1984, which won Best Performance by an Actress in a Miniseries or Motion Picture Made for Television. The Swedish actress has even been nominated for an Oscar twice, but she hasn't won the prestigious award yet. Her first Oscar nod was for her work on the movie Carnal Knowledge, which came out in 1971. Her second nomination came in 1976 for her work on the Elton John movie Tommy. Her last movie, Queen Bees, came out in 2021. Ellen Burstyn and the late James Caan are in it. 2. She is making a rock record, the star of Grumpy Old Men told The New York Times that on April 14, 2023, she will put out a rock and roll record. Born to be Wild, her first rock song came out just a few weeks before her 82nd birthday on April 28th. 
and Margaret told the outlet that she still feels as young as ever when she plays her music, even though she is now in the second year of her 80s. Every time I hear music, I feel like I did when I was 10, she said at the time. Pete Townshend, who made the movie Tommy and was also in it, told the New York Times how much he likes her new record. What she has done is extraordinary, he told the news outlet over the phone. She found the silver thread that connects her to the beginning of rock and roll. There's something naughty about that, a light touch that may be needed but is also real. She also told the news group that she had wanted to make this record for a long time. Deep down, I've always wanted to make an album like this she said in the interview, which took place at her home in Benedict Canyon. 3. Elvis Presley was once with Anne Margaret Even though Anne Margaret is making her first rock and roll record, she's no stranger to the rock and roll scene. She was once with the late king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Elvis and the Emmy winner met for the first time in the summer of 1963. They were going to be in the same movie, Viva Las Vegas, the following year. Even though they were in love for a while, they broke up in 1967, which is also the year he married Priscilla Presley. She wrote about how they broke up in her 1994 book, Anne Margaret. My story, as reported by Express UK. Elvis's life had other things going on that kept him from me, and I understood them. Elvis had always told me the truth, but it was still confusing, she wrote in the book. In a 2022 interview with CBS Sunday Morning, Anne Margaret said that meeting him was awkward and so personal. 4. She had a 50-year marriage in 2010. She was seen with her late husband, Roger Smith. Anne Margaret went on after her breakup with the Hound Dog hitmaker. In 1967, she married her late husband, actor Roger Smith. The 77 Sunset Strip star and his wife were happily married for more than 50 years, but when he died in June 2017, their love story came to a sad end. Even though they used to be in love, Anne Margaret was happy to be a stepmother to his three children, who were not their own. 5. She has worked for more than 50 years. The author of Anne Margaret 12 CFD has had and is still having great success. Anne Margaret has done a lot of entertaining things like making music with Elvis Presley and acting in hit films with Dick Van Dyke. So it's no surprise that she's not done yet. She told the New York Times that she feels as alive as ever, even though she is now in her mid-80s. They say that beauty should come after age. But if her look on the set of Going In Style is any indication, legendary actress Anne Margaret still has a lot of both. The former sex icon of the 1960s looked great as she strolled around the set, where she was joined by her young co-star Amanda Seyfried. The 74-year-old woman, who was once in a relationship with Elvis Presley, looked great for her age in black pants, a black top, and a green body warmer from a store. She's one of the top stars in the Zach Braff-directed movie about three old people who have to eat dog food because they don't have enough money and decide to rob a bank. She has won five Golden Globes and been nominated for two Academy Awards, so she could probably teach her young co-star a lot about acting. In the heart of the movie set, the legacy of Anne Margaret comes to life, proving that age is but a number. Her enduring beauty and charisma, cloaked in the wisdom of her years, serve as a testament to the notion that true allure transcends time. On this cinematic stage, the legendary actress weaves her experiences into the tapestry of a new generation's journey, guided by the stars of today like Amanda Seyfried. Together, they create a harmonious blend of old and new, proving that the magic of storytelling knows no bounds and that, just like the intelligent lock that opens the door to new adventures, Age is merely a key to unlocking the endless possibilities of life in the spotlight. Amidst the bustling movie set, Anne Margaret teaches us that beauty isn't confined by the passing of years. She continues to captivate, demonstrating that charm and allure are ageless. As the camera's role in scenes unfold, she not only imparts acting expertise, but also shares invaluable life lessons, serving as a bridge between generations. However, this narrative doesn't reach its conclusion with the final take. It lingers, prompting questions that resonate beyond the silver screen. How can the wealth of experience from one generation inspire and shape the aspirations of those who follow? What insights can we draw from the remarkable encounter between Anne Margaret and Amanda Seyfried? How does the interplay of age and experience enrich the world of storytelling? As we contemplate this captivating world of cinema and the enduring grace of Anne Margaret, we extend an invitation to you, our cherished readers, to share your thoughts. What's your perspective on the role of age in the realm of entertainment and in your personal journey? 
Which stories, regardless of the age of their protagonists, have left an indelible mark on your heart? Join us in this engaging conversation, and together, let's delve into the boundless dimensions of age, wisdom, and the timeless magic of exceptional storytelling. Your insights matter, so don't hesitate to share them in the comments below.